Prince Leopold and Princess Ursula of Bavaria attend a celebration in Munich. Queen Camilla of the United Kingdom attends Royal Maundy service at Worcester Cathedral. And Crown Princess Victoria Sweden visits the Stockholm City Missions meeting place Maria Torget. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Thursday, March 28th, 2024. In Stockholm, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, as patron of the Stockholm City Mission, visited the organization's operations at Meeting Place Maria Torget on Wednesday. According to the Royal Court of Sweden, the Meeting Place Maria Torget is a center for, quote, conversation, community, knowledge exchange, and networking between people in different life situations. The Meeting Place has, among other things, a cafe, as well as various group activities and cultural events aimed at both the elderly, adults, and children with parents, end quote. During the visit, the Crown Princess spent time with seniors participating in the Life Story group. In the group, members, quote, together with a trained interviewer, they can reminisce and talk about their lives. The aim is to break loneliness, prevent depression, and give increased meaning in their lives, end quote. Earlier in the day, the Crown Princess, along with His Royal Highness, Prince Daniel of Sweden, visited the Ministry of Finance. Upon their arrival, the Crown Princess were warmly welcomed by the Minister for Finance of Sweden, Miss Elizabeth Svantesson. According to the Royal Court of Sweden, during the visit, the Crown Princess couple, quote, met officials who spoke about current issues within the Ministry's areas of responsibility and about the economic development in the outside world. End quote. Meanwhile, the Royal Court of Sweden announced that the new president of the Republic of Finland, Mr. Alexander Stubu, or Stubb, and First Lady Suzanne Ines Stubu, or Stubb, along with a business delegation, will pay a state visit to the Kingdom of Sweden at the invitation of His Majesty King Carl Gustav of Sweden beginning on April 23rd through 24th, 2024. In the press release, the Royal Court of Sweden said, quote, The tradition of a newly elected Finnish president making his first day visit to Sweden is an expression of the special relationship that exists between Sweden and Finland. The state visit confirms the close connection and togetherness. The purpose of the state visit is to continue developing and deepening the very close cooperation within all areas of society, above all, foreign, security, and defense policy cooperation. The new security situation in our surrounding world makes this relationship even more significant. End quote. In Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness, Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg, held an audience this morning with the First President of the National Assembly of Cameroon, Mr. Hilarion Itong, at the Palais Grand Ducal. Mr. Etong is on a working visit to the Grand Duchy at the invitation of the Chamber of Deputies. This morning in Worcester, Her Majesty, Queen Camilla of the United Kingdom, attended the Royal Maundy service at Worcester Cathedral. Maundy Thursday, also known as Holy Thursday for We Catholics, commemorates the Last Supper of Jesus Christ with the Twelve Apostles and when Jesus Christ gave a new commandment, when he said, quote, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. End quote. Royal Maundy service dates back to the 13th century and originally involved the sovereign giving money to the poor and washing their feet. According to Buckingham Palace, during today's service, a recorded reading from the Gospel of John chapter 13, verses 1-15, through 15, from His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom, was played to the congregation. This was followed by a message from the king. After the service, Her Majesty the Queen, on behalf of His Majesty the King, presented Maundy money to 75 men and 75 women in recognition of their services to their local communities.
And finally, in Munich, their royal highnesses, Prince Leopold and Princess Ursula of Bavaria, attended a celebration at Bavarian Parliament on the occasion of the commemorative publication entitled 1821-2021, Over 200 Years of Greek-Bavarian Friendship. According to a press release from Bavarian Parliament, the chairman of the Greek Academy in Munich, Mr. Stavros Konstantinidis, is the, quote, driving force behind the 240-page commemorative publication. In his speech, he emphasized that there was more to Greek Bavarian history than monarchs and historical science. It would primarily be about 200 years of Greek life and that many Greek families who have shaped Bavaria for several generations and contributed to culture and economy. The president of the state parliament and patron of the event, Ms. Ilsa Eigner, emphasized that Greece and Bavaria live a community of values and contribute to a strong Europe through their cooperation. End quote. Actually, there's one more thing. And finally, finally, in Belgrade, their Royal Highnesses, Crown Prince Alexander and Crown Princess Catherine of Serbia attended the premiere of the documentary entitled 33 Angels at the Royal Palace. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. No, really, I do. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Friday, March 29th, with all the latest royal news. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful afternoon and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Okay, again, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.